Hey, welcome to this CUBE conversation with Dell Technologies. I'm Lisa Martin. I've got Kaushik Ghost here with me. He's back on the CUBE, Director of Product Management for Unified NAS Solutions at Dell Technologies. Kaushik, great to see you again. Yes, hi, great to, great to be here again. <laughs> We're going to be talking about the major announcement that Dell Technologies just made with their scale out file storage system that is Dell EMC PowerScale. We're going to unpack the recent announcement, new features, capabilities, all that good stuff. Kaushik, let's go ahead and start. Just give us that high level view of Dell EMC PowerScale. Yes, absolutely. So, so PowerScale is a high performance scale out file storage solution. Um, it's the uh, successor to the Isilon family uh, which, which as you guys know, I mean, is one of the leading file solutions in the in the market today. Um, PowerScale 1FS, which is the file system that runs on PowerScale and also the Isilon family um, is offers uh, un, uh, exceptional simplicity, flexibility and performance, um, which is what Isilon and PowerScale is known for. I mean, um, if you look at Gartner's Magic Quadrant, One FS has been listed as the uh, leader in that uh, in the distributed and uh, object file system. So, uh, so that basically is now power scale. We launched our first power scale all flash products last year, and then this year with this launch, we are sort of completing that portfolio um, with uh, with new hybrid and archive uh, platforms. Excellent, and we're going to get into that as well. Let's go ahead and start unpacking this announcement. Walk me through some of the key things that are new and announced in this recent announcement. Yes, I mean, the, we just launched basically the hybrid and archive platforms um, on as part of the PowerScale family. Uh, there are two archive platforms and two hybrid platforms that we launched, and uh, they offer better. CPU, performance cache, and all that stuff. But but we don't want to go into the speeds and feeds. What I really want to address is the is the software capabilities that this power scale brings. For starters, um, it is uh, it now includes inline data uh, compression, inline data reduction. It's all built into it. Um, we support now new ransomware protection capabilities with uh, with this product. Um, there is a new data protection capability that we now support uh, with our um, with our Power Protect data data manager, um, and um, and then the all the goodness of uh, Isilon One FS and PowerScale One FS that sort of continues with this uh, new. I imagine since the launch last year, Kashvik, a lot of customer conversations that helped to drive this launch and the complete transition and the innovation of what we now see as PowerScale? Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, there, there have been some great conversations. People have been, um, people have been uh, really waiting for this product uh, offering because now uh, they can basically combine those flash platforms that we launched last year with these hybrid platforms and can offer a really uh, solution that on, not only gives you that performance, but also the the cost and uh, savings and the value that uh, that uh, only our power scale and Iceland can give you. Kasha, give me a good overview of some of those key capabilities that the existing Iceland customers and the prospective new customers of power scale are going to be able to take advantage of. Yes, so the new uh, some of the new capabilities are uh, inline efficiency. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, that's now built in into the product. Um, we have inline efficiency today on our all flash platforms. Uh, so now introducing it with these hybrid and archive nodes, what that means is that when you set up a mixed cluster with all flash and hybrid, when you tear the data down from the flash to the hybrid, the data does not have to be rehydrated. They stay compressed, they stay duplicated and so on and so forth. So that's one big advantage that you get. Second, um, these power scale hybrid and archive platforms were built ground up uh, with our own custom hardware. Unlike the flash platforms with the leverage power and servers, for these ones, we use our custom hardware. And the reason for that is because for those archive and uh, storage, the cold storage, we want that density. We can store up to 500 terabyte of usable capacity, effective usable capacity 
in, in these archive nodes in a single uh, one you rack unit. Right? And then uh, of course, uh, from a software perspective, uh, we talked about ransomware protection. So, so we have a, a new capability with ransomware protection. And then there's this new capability that we just launched with regard to backups, uh, more efficient, more faster backups with, uh, with our Power Protect, uh, uh, the Power Protect family of uh, Gen products. Excellent, I want to dig into the ransomware and data protection in a minute, but I want to get a sense of the overall theme of the launch. You talked about this being the completion of that tech refresh, some of the new capabilities and enhancements that customers are going to be able to take advantage of, but give me that higher level kind of thematic look at this news. Yeah, so, the big theme of this is basically finishing that power scale family that we started last year, right? So we started with the launching the all flash, now with this hybrid and archive, now we have the full family done. Um, all products now support inline efficiency, so you can move the data around, you get the same, uh, data doesn't get high rehydrated, um, your, you can make it part of a single cluster, um, and you get all the performance benefits, um, the, the scalability benefits of 1FS, um, and new data management capabilities. The, um, so all of that that we started, all of that goodness that we started with PowerScale All Flash, um, we sort of continued now with this, uh, with this platform. Got it, and I know you guys did your own internal study and I'd like you to share some of the results with the audience. You guys compared PowerScale to competitors in traditional NAS, in flash only NAS, in mixed NAS SAN and software only NAS. Give us a snapshot into what some of those results were for PowerScale. Yeah, I mean, uh, the big takeaway out here is that, um, that when it comes to PowerScale, um, there we don't have a competitor when it comes to scalability, right? Uh, the fact that you can now put uh, all petabytes of capacity under single namespace, a single file system, and also give you that performance, uh, we there is none to today, right? And um, and there and there may be some which can do those also, but then they don't have the enterprise capabilities like replication um, and uh, the rich enterprise capabilities that one of us has. So of performance, scale, capabilities and all with, uh, with the simplicity of 1FS. And that's basically what the unique thing about power scale is. Performance, scale, and simplicity, three things that I'm sure uh, enterprises, small, medium businesses, and any industry appreciate. You, you talked about the um, what's new in terms of the hybrid nodes and the archive nodes. Can you help us understand what workloads those nodes are tar best targeted for? Absolutely. So hybrid and archive, what we have realized is that um, not every data can be uh, compressed or de right? So, so it's not, we would love uh, customers to use our all flash products. They, they get the deduplication, they get the compression, then it lowers the cost and clearly then you get the performance and the cost. But there are workloads like media and entertainment, video surveillance, where you will not be able to compress or de the data. In that case, rather than pay, paying ex for a very expensive flash, you could put those data sets in our lower cost uh, archive platforms as an example. And if, if you have situations where, look, I need some performance, but there is a lot of old data, then you can actually mix and match it also. So you can have those flash platforms giving you that performance, and then you have our archive platforms, which is basically giving you the lowest cost uh, storage for that data that is uh, not so frequently being accessed. And there's the flexibility there. So how can, this is the, the tech refresh, you said this has been completed now, uh, PowerScale from Isilon. How can existing Isilon customers take advantage? What are their next steps to be able to take advantage of the newer capabilities and technologies? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, one thing we we power scale has it that's very different from others is that power scale has this mantra called no node left behind. So if you are an existing Isilon customer, you can basically add these power scale nodes to your existing Isilon cluster without taking any downtime. We power scale will automatically redistribute, rebalance your workloads across these new nodes, and you sort of keep on expanding your cluster. And when you 
when you feel like it, you can uh, take out the older nodes uh, at a time of your choosing, right? So that's the uh, that's a huge benefit that we get. So in fact, in some customer environments, their data has been there for almost 10 to 12 years now uh, uh, because they've never had to do a forklift upgrade. So, and that sort of continues with this family. Um, if you learn to learn more about it, I would encourage uh, going to Dell Technologies slash PowerScale uh, or contact uh, Dell Technologies uh, rep. Let's kind of wrap up things here with talking about dig into ransomware. We've seen ransomware become a household word, the Colonial Pipeline, the meatpacking organization that was attacked earlier this summer. We know that that a lot of data show that there's one ransomware attack happens every 11 seconds. And of course we only hear about the really big attacks. Um, I've had the opportunity to talk to a lot of cybersecurity leaders lately, and they're showing that ransomware is up, you know, at least 10x in the last year with this massive pivot to work from home, now work from anywhere. Talk to me about some of the focus that Dell has put in PowerScale now with respect to your ransomware protection and recovery. Yeah, so for ransomware protect, we have two, two things that we are doing. So one is this concept of uh, detection. So when an attack is happening, we want to be able to detect quickly that an attack is happening and take some corrective measures, right? And uh, so we have this product uh, called uh, Superna Eyeglass, uh, which is exclusively built for uh, uh, built for uh, power scale. And using this product, they use we use AIs uh, to basically to figure out that if an attack is happening, we detect it. And based on that, based on policies, we can then either if it's happening with only one user, we can sort of um, uh, sort of prevent, uh, sort of lock it down that particular user profile or, or take other corrective actions that you may set up. So that's one aspect of it, which is about the detection of it and taking some quick steps. Then there's a second aspect of it, which is all about recovery. Right, so so we do have uh, uh, replications. You can, uh, if the customer so chooses, we can have replications set up from your power scale uh, production cluster to another cluster, and um, and in that replication, uh, we can introduce an air gap so that uh, any anything bad thing is happening here does not get uh, uh, does not get replicated to that uh, remote environment. So. Um, so, so those are the two ways, one detecting and second, basically protecting it um, and not only just protecting it, but ensuring that air gap um, capability is there as well so that uh, the ransomware is not replicated there as well. Absolutely critical given some of the things that you and I mentioned a few minutes ago in terms of the explosion of ransomware, which hopefully in our remote, remote work hybrid environment as more technologies like this come out from Dell Technologies and its partners, we'll start to see those ransomware numbers go down. Last thing, I want you to just restate, you mentioned a, a URL where folks can go to learn more information. I know you've got several different links to point folks to. Can you go ahead and, and remind us what those are again? Yes, absolutely. I mean, uh, it, the easiest uh, URL to go to is Dell Technologies slash power scale. I mean, if you, that's the only one URL that I'd like you to remember. Once you go there, there'll be videos, articles, blogs, and you can uh, look to your heart's content, whatever you want from there. Excellent, Kashik, thank you for joining me today, talking to me about what's new with PowerScale. Congratulations on the completion of the refresh. A lot of new capabilities and, and uh, technologies that your customers, existing Isilon and future perspective PowerScale customers are going to be able to take advantage of. Look forward to hearing in the next few months some customer success stories. Thanks for your time. Thank you. For Kashmir Ghosh, I'm Lisa Martin. You're watching a CUBE Conversation.